In the meantime, we are going to talk to a dear friend of ours. She has been on our show with uh, her many different projects over the year, Lollipop, and uh, now her latest project is AOA, and she is going to world premiere uh, their latest track and talk about this really important project that she's involved with. Uh, we welcome from Minneapolis, Brooke Calder. How you doing, Brooke? Joe, how are you? I'm doing good, and uh, you're always challenging yourself and, and challenging the music business. And AOA, what was the uh, first incarnation? When did you get it stirring in your mind? For a AOA or? Yeah, for your, for your new project. Well, I should have to say, I mean, honestly, this year has hit us all pretty hard. Mm-hmm. And I have to say that I guess it had roots in the fact that David Bowie passed away uh, this January, this right. past January. And, um, you know, it's just been one thing after another this whole year. You know, we've had all the events that led up to BLM. Mm-hmm. You know, we've had all the events around, you know, the Dakota Access Pipeline. And that's just something that shouldn't be happening, in my opinion. You know, and I know I'm not the only one with that opinion right. <laughs> at all. And uh, I'm not sure how political I'm allowed to be on your show. but Hey, I'm probably thinking along the same. I'll tell you what. This is our opinion. This is your opinion, my opinion. And, you know, the show after me has a different one. So it's all good. Right. So speak, right. speak freely. So I'll, just, I'll just say, you know, this thing began with those three things happening. And it just built, Mm -hmm. you know, the election had interesting results and, you know, so many different people passed away this year too. Right. You know, I mean, you know, we were all very affected by the fact that Prince passed away Mm -hmm. and, um, you and I talked after that happened and, um, you know, Denise Matthews left so many, I've been retired, happily retired, writing my book. You know, and I had no intention of ever making anything ever again, musically. I just was fine. And when Prince died, I was sort of like, well, that's the captain of my ship. You know, I'm done. Like, I'm kind of, I was already done, but I was kind of extra done. You know, and then the election happened. And that was interesting. (laughs) So, it's just the everything. Everything, you know. And, um... Gosh, I just, I don't know what else to say. This year has been a doozy for everybody, no matter what side you're on. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's you know, Bernie Worrell, Leonard Cohen, and... Uh, oh, for just, God's sake, I, I know. I, we're, we're all getting older, and probably a lot of people that we grew up with, some of the some of the, the deaths have been premature age-wise, so... Oh, yeah. definitely. Yeah. So, so, you got together... Uh, the collective up in Minneapolis and, and the, let's first talk about who you're collaborating with. Cause a lot of, a lot of talented people. I, you know what, one thing I'll say about Minneapolis, you already know, but for anyone listening out there, there's so much talent here still, you know, it didn't end by any stretch of the imagination, you know, after April, it did not end. There's so much talent here. And, um, over the years, I've been really lucky to meet and or work with or run into some really amazing people. One of them is Jeff Mikowski, um, who he had a project called Obesity and another project kind of political called Dead Candidates. Mm-hmm. And he and I used to play shows together when he had a band called Obesity. We were both on the TC Electropunk compilations together, you know, and his bands have always been very political. So when I started thinking about who I want to do this with, I first went to Jordan, who you met, who we did the interview with That's about, right. I think, yeah. like, two years ago. Right. So Jordan and I first made a demo, and then I was like, who do I take this to? I took it to Jeff, and Jeff just completely blew it up. And then we grabbed a gentleman by the name of Charlie Milky, who mm-hmm. is in a band called Orchid, who play kind of, like, down, how can I say, it's not gloom pop, but it's, like, kind of down-tempo ambient rock, mm-hmm. doom, not really, I don't know. Gosh, they're just so amazing, and I always loved Charlie from the second I saw him on stage and the second I heard him. Same thing with Jeff. They're just such great performers and players, and Jordan is so gifted composing, and I just... So I went to my those guys, and they were like, let's do this. Let's go. And we decided that we would cover the David Bowie song, I'm Afraid of Americans, and that we would release it, and that 
50 cents from every download would go to no dapple to the legal fund to help, you know, protect them and bail people out and assist with that. So that's the, the skeleton crew. Um, have you, have I talked to you or have we talked about the rope? Because I don't if think we so. haven't, Joe, yeah. I need to send you their record. No, no, but, I don't um, think we have. So there's an amazing band here called the rope. And if you like, like if you if you think of the psychedelic furs, mm-hmm. the cult, and Echo and the Bunnymen, and like if you think of all those bands having a child or children who created a new band, right. that would be the Rope. Okay, and they're they're one of my very favorite bands in the city. And again, another band uh, Jordan and I played with in Glean, and Jesse, the lead singer from there, has been very 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 active. He's been going out to North Dakota and to the Dakotas protest and he's kind of the person whose page I watch, you know, to get my updates on that. So the first person I thought of, like, hey, we need to you know, everybody who's angry about this should sing about it, you know. And the right. first person I thought of externally out of my people was was Jesse. And Jesse said yes. So I was really honored and really excited and he kinda cameos towards the end of the song. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um also, my friend Adri from a band called Cabs is up here. They're kind of like a, an awesome indie rock. Um, it's a three. They're mainly a three piece, although I think they have an extended version of the band. But they just kick a lot of butt. And Adri's very active and politically minded as well. So Adri, and then my friend Joe Ballish, and Joe did a bunch of those backups on the Glean record as well. Okay. And so whenever I need a sexy voice or <laughs> heavy breathing, he's the man. But, He's the man. He's the bedroom and the heavy breathing voice. And then, of course, Simon, my right. husband. That's right. Yeah, a great artist in his own right. Yes. I We grabbed, I mean, of course, he's kind of was part of it from the beginning. And um, he's he has a little vocal on there, too. Him and Joe, actually, we did a composite vocal between the two of them. Mm-hmm. So, and then my friend Victor, um, who was in a band called Apocalypse Theater, and who continues to produce video content and remixes under the name of Nano Taco. And so, I don't know, it's just all my friends who I knew felt the same way. It's, you know, as far as I'm concerned, my music career is over. But if I have something to say that I feel is worthwhile, I'm going to open my mouth. Right. I'm going to say something. I will say it peacefully. Mm -hmm. But, I, you know, you have to stand up for what you believe in, in life. And this is my way of doing that. <laughs> and I think their way of doing that, too. So the always evolving and uh, very interesting career of Brooke Calder and uh, her latest incarnation is the Minneapolis-based collective AOA and uh, their latest song called I'm Afraid of Americans. And we're going to play the track right now. But first, why don't you tell the listeners where they can go to to buy this the uh, the track and find out all this information about the band? Oh, thank you. Um, so if you go to www, obviously, a dash o dash a dot bandcamp. Okay. Dot com. And we're going to unlock those tracks in a second here. We wanted to let your show have the premiere first, but after, after the song is played, you'll be able to go there and, and listen to it again and hear one of the remixes as well. Yeah. I should mention, yeah. I just want to sneak in one other thing. Sure. Is that these guys I used to tour with. Um, Rob Robertson and mm-hmm. Jeff Whitlatch. Um, they designed, they did the cover art for the record, but they also did remixes that I'm really excited about. And so what his remix is one of the remixes you'll find there. And um, the cover art and T-shirts, that was just the three of us collaborating together. So those guys are also very, like we're all very political musicians. <laughs> so uh-huh. I just have to yell at them and just go thank you too because they've been phenomenal. So... All right, we're going to listen to it right now. and We're honored that uh, Brooke has brought this track for a world premiere. It's uh, AOA, Afraid of Americans, the uh, David Bowie, uh, Nine, Nine Inch, Inch Nails, Nails, Trent Rasner uh, collaboration, uh, but they do it great style right here, Afraid of Americans. And uh wanted to say what's up to my cousin Steve. Listen up in uh, Boston. He's a big, big guy. Uh, that's my hometown. <laughs> oh, there you go. He, he's uh, Yeah, and... Cleve is from there too. Yeah, he's a big David Bowie fan, so I'm, I'm sure oh, he's going to awesome. dig this as well. Yeah, I hope so. All Crossing right. fingers. 
<laughs> All right, this is uh, Brooke Calder and AOA right here on WVOF. From the Twin Cities, that is AOA, Afraid of Americans, doing some great work right there. Great version of it, done up your own style, Brooke Calder and AOA. So thanks for dropping that on us. Oh, thanks for having us. Thanks for playing it. Yeah, and thanks for letting us premiere it here on the show. And people can uh, go to uh, your Bandcamp page, right? Yeah, yep. But I just want to say one thing, sure. Joe. Yeah. We have the longest running radio relationship out of my city that I have with anybody. Oh, okay. Because you well, were the first you. to premiere Lollipop. That's right. And you you premiered all the popping stuff, and you premiered Glean. You were the first, right? On. You might have been neck and neck with somebody else for Lollipop, but from there forward, you premiered everything first ahead of everybody else. And I just really appreciate you, and I really appreciate the show, and I really appreciate the way you support Minneapolis and Twin Cities music. So thank you. Yeah, thank you. It's just an honor. Every time you have something going on, and you know we'll support it. So, Well, you guys are so generous, and I just want to thank you again. Your show is awesome, and you really champion independent music and... That just means so much to all of us. Not yeah. just us, who you play, but to everybody. Right, right. You know? Well, th- thank you. So um, people can uh, get that music. You're unlocking it as we speak, right? Yes, it's unlocked right now. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> so, so you come from a, a pretty progressive state, Minnesota. I, I know politicians, we we all know Al Franken. and but um, Yeah. What's it like, you know, you, you see the country you know, voted Trump in and, you know, occasionally I run into people with, so, with the viewpoints, which I don't share. And I'm like, man, these people are stuck, stuck way, way back somewhere, but they, you know, they're entitled to that. But what, what's it like yeah. generally in, in the circles that you keep in the twin cities? Well, Joe, I would say wait for our video. <laughs> that will <Okay>. completely <laughs> answer everybody's question. Okay. Um, that should be out later this week. Okay. Um, but I will just say this, that, you know, I wanted, for me personally, I can't speak for the rest of the band, but for me personally, I love, 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 still love Bernie Sanders. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That was the candidate I personally would have liked to have seen. I also was an Al Gore fan, and I, I can't help but think that the last time the Electoral College bounced somebody worthwhile, look what happened. Now we're in a global warming crisis. I mean, people say it doesn't exist, but then why are the ice caps melting? And not to get into anything, but I mean, it's it's clear that this is an issue, and a lot of the people who support him don't believe that's an issue. Right. You know, and like people, a lot of people are like, well, that's just the world, and you know, temperatures and climates change. Well, okay, but we have measurable evidence that this is this is what's causing it, and we have caused it. So, I just. For me personally, again, I mean, I think I kind of semi speak for most of my bandmates, but we're we're not fans of the current president elect. And fortunately, this is America, so I can say that without winding up dead, unlike in some other countries. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but um, I just I'm still so sad about the fact that Bernie completely got kind of the shaft. You right. know. I just read uh, over the weekend his uh, interview in Rolling Stone magazine, Bernie Sanders. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, yes. So, you know. Wasn't got, that wonderful? Yeah, he's still got a lot of great ideas. And hopefully, like you said, the grassroots people like like you are doing and, and your bandmates, grassroots. And and, yeah. That's the thing. This is America. Mm-hmm. You know, this is, this is our First Amendment is to express ourselves and freedom of speech and the press and all of it. And this is me, you know, I'm not able to get out to the Dakotas in the manner that, say, Jesse, you know, who we talked about earlier is, but what I can do is sit here and make music, you know, and that's that's what I can do, and I can send money to them, and we're going to send money to them, um, but I just, we cannot, the other last thing I'll say is we cannot continue to desecrate Native American burial grounds, mm-hmm. you know, we cannot continue to let big business try to get away with things like this. We can't do it. We've already made so many mistakes with the Native people of this country, you know, and with with just everything that's going on right now, you know, there's a a, a surge of hate crimes, racism. I mean, people are coming out and saying all kinds of outrageous things and just, you know, I just can't even fathom a lot of it. 
I, I, I may have told you, I'm not sure if I told you this, but I knew something. The world was a little crazy on Halloween. I saw a guy, high school kid on Halloween in, in the town where we broadcast here in a uh, Hitler costume on his bicycle. Oh, what? And I oh, just, God. I, I just did a double take and I was, yeah, just, I am like, I'm surprised he didn't get his ass beat down through the, through the, I bet you he did later. <laughs> yeah, he was just, pedaling. depending on who he ran into. Yeah, right. Just peddling. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in broad daylight, was peddling down the street. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah. Like, that's not even funny. Yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. Hey, even we, if it's a joke, it's right. not funny. Yeah. Just a, no clue. So, hey, we got to say hi to uh, one of your friends, Ann Pritchard. Who's you do. Yeah. Ann! Oh, hi! And, and one of my favorite authors. Yes. I love her. Hello. So, th- <laughs> thanks for, for tuning in, uh, Brooke and um, WWF. Yeah. I just want to say one other thing. A shout out to Alex Alexander. He's my friend. He's in the hospital. Get better soon. Okay. I hope I hope he feels better. Send pa- positive vibes out to him, right? Yes. Yes. Quick healing, please. <laughs> um, before we get into the remix of uh, Afraid of Americans, um, let, let's get the update on, on your, your other great project, uh, In Praise of Men, the book you're writing. And, oh, and have written, <laughs> right? Yeah. I'm just uh, wrapping that right now, and we have a Valentine's Day release ready for that. Um, and so I'm kind of like doing these projects back to back. And you brought up a gentleman in a Hitler costume earlier. Yeah. And I've actually been going through and editing um, the chapter that I wrote about the World Wars. Okay. And um, I met a couple of years ago when I was still very entrenched in writing the book. I met a survivor um, who had lived through, uh, I cannot say it nicely, my German is terrible, but Mutthausen. Okay. Um, and that changed my life and my perspective on happiness a great deal. <laughs> and, um, and, and I say, if you've ever met someone who lived through that and you talk to them, like that is exactly my point. It's not things like that are just aren't funny, you know? Mm-hmm. And I will say that despite the atrocities, you know, I mean, with our feminism, well, <laughs> obviously the book is called in praise of men and we've made wonderful strides with our feminism and, Um, empowerment and you know but I will say quite plainly that it's been a little bit at the expense of also likewise similarly applauding and supporting men so I just feel like there's a little bit of a imbalance there's always been the battle of the sexes for as long as all of us have existed it's always gone on and uh, I just feel like it's time that we we try to appreciate each other and recognize that feminism is great but that doesn't mean that we can't similarly applaud men because men have made a lot of changes too. So, so that is upcoming, uh, Valentine's day release in praise of yes, men. Because I love men. Yeah, there you <laughs> I go. love you guys. And, and we'll, yeah. uh, we'll definitely have to have you on, on the show right around that time to come talk about thank it. You, and, yeah. And, uh, thank you for asking. Yeah. Thank you for, for another great project. Thanks to all your bandmates. Yeah, <laughs> everyone's at work, so yeah. I'm alone right now. <laughs> we'll, we'll have this on our website um, by the weekend, and for your for your listening and download uh, you. pleasure. And you know, just wish you, wish you all the best, and always great to talk to you, Brooke. You too, and I want to shout out Cleveland, who was on your show earlier. I'm really excited about his new single, and I really enjoyed like listening to him as well. So, uh, thanks for sharing your show interview with me. Oh yeah, <laughs> I really yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, 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 he was a great Thank guy, and and, and um, I didn't mention the title of, of her song uh, before we started the interview, "Mama Chill." You ain't running with my. Oh mom. yeah, I loved. I was listening to that. I was yeah, like, right. oh, I almost don't want to answer this song because <laughs> yeah. this song is so good. Yeah, Mama I Chill. I love her cool. out of, out of yes. London. So adore her. London, yep. Minneapolis. Maybe a collaboration one day. Get you out of retirement yeah, again. <laughs> such a great like ver- verbal. How can I say? Vocalist slash, but she's kind of she raps too. Right, so. Right. Yeah, I'm definitely going to check her out. I'm really excited. Thank you for playing that, and thanks for turning me on to that. Okay. So, uh, Brooke, yeah. we got to get into uh, the remix, and the remix is done by who? It's Rob Robertson, and it's called The Collision Mix. Okay. And this uh, is and available. out of Tulsa, Oklahoma. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Tulsa, yeah. Uh, you can go to uh, right now. A-O-A dot bandcamp dot com 
and support independent music. It's all there for you. Brooke Calder, thanks so much. Thank you, Joe. And